Hello everyone, back again doing Day of Reckoning. The, actually, the first Day of Reckoning game uh, match is here. So we got Chris Benoit against Triple H in a hardcore match. I want to see exactly what all we have going on here. So, here you go. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I'm sorry if the camera isn't perfect here. I'm going to put on some audio and do some work here. So, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Have a good day. Love you guys. It's nanotech, so you're not going to find it inside your home, just like you're probably not going to find it currently inside your body. But, of course, we know some people currently do have it inside their body. So, it says smart speakers go beyond regular speakers. For instance, voice commands can be used to control the voice assistant that is typically included in today's smart speakers. Of course, there's a little, little, uh, little man, little, uh, what do they call him? little demon inside of these devices. No one's connecting the dots yet. Get your quantum computing, et cetera, et cetera. I gotta be careful what I say, but uh, anyway, so it goes on to talk about smart speakers, some of the greatest, place, uh, greatest places to offer access to a voice assistance because they often feature Wi-Fi connections. So let's clarify for anyone out there because it goes in one ear out, here, out the other. Smart speakers, right? So you're thinking to yourself, oh, I have Bluetooth speakers, so I can listen to my music around my house. Listen to this sentence, okay? Can you figure it out? You Smart speakers are some of the Just greatest places to offer access to a voice play. assistant. Well, the voice assistant is listening to you, right? You're telling the voice assistant, hey, voice assistant, hey, Alexa, Let's turn on good. my lights. Yeah, okay, so it has the capability to listen to you. And surprise, surprise, Sydney, also record you. As has been covered by no. anonymous YouTubers who are no longer allowed to be mentioned. Number five, folks, this is where it gets funny. It's all funny, isn't it? It's scary. Number five, installing automated gates in your smart home. That's right, folks. Now you might say, well, gates, it's safe. I'm going to be protected. No, 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 no. Not to protect. You kidding me? It's not to protect you from people coming in. No, that's the gate. That's the same as the cell to keep you inside. Duh. Installing the gates in your smart home. It's just the extra bars around your prison cell. So electric or automatic gates are becoming more and more common in modern homes. Really the gates there. used to represent the they social order, but today they stand for home security. And of course, this is not to protect like you, day. it's to cage you. I'm going to write a song about it. Uh, they say buildings for resident, residential and commercial use gain ease and security from it. Swing gates, sliding gates, and trackless folding gates are the three most Common styles of automated gates. <laughs> Which model will you choose? Depends on your budget. Well, this, that'll be funny too. That'll be one of those things in your taxes. Which I should just do a video on taxes. Lots of things about the legality of it. But more important, well, that's the most important thing. But I just love the psychological operation of your taxes, of how you think you're like, when people don't understand that. Like, it's like getting a coupon. So they, they bait you into even paying it. They're like, you're going to get money back though. You had a child, you get money back. You put in green energy stuff in your home, you get money back. And they're like, oh, I'm winning. Oh, at the end of it, you'll cough up uh, $15,000 or whatever it ends up being, right? So whatever your needs are, I'm sure that your taxes will say, oh, well, you're installing a smart gate for $15,000. Well, the government will pay for $10,000. I mean, you're like, oh, that's a bargain. Yeah, pay for your own, pay for your own prison bars. That mm -hmm. sounds like a bargain. Number six, purchasing a smart TV. Of course, most people already have it. And, of course, this is just marketing the fact that it's easier for you to watch your propaganda, your Hulu, your Netflix, right? But also, your smart TV also serves as a listening device. That's why when a lot of people, you know, you have – if you have a smart TV, you're out there and you're, like, new to this stuff, you know, you can talk into your remote and the TV does this stuff. That's not necessarily magic, but in a sense, it is actually magic, which is ironic. Uh, your device is able to listen to you. That's how it's able to take your commands. So it's listening to you, and it's going right to CIA headquarters, NSA headquarters, okay? Let's move on. Well, I was not doing smart here. Number seven, installing smart switches in your smart home. Because again, light switches are too complicated. These switches still operate as standard light switches, but they also have some clever features, such as smart dimmer, Switch functionality, additional buttons for for finer control, remote control function. This is just another way to have everything hardwired to the smart device. 
in case you're wondering, every light bulb, okay, every single thing that's, that's, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a fan, good. all of it, right? Okay, number eight, installing a smart security system. Know. So we're going to get the gates, we already had, not the bill gates, but the gates. Now let's just make sure we have a smart security system to protect you, of course, right, from no it one. It it's just we'll give access to don't people that, while well, you speak out back. against Big Brother, Big Brother will be walking in. But uh, you don't have to worry about that because you can trust Big Brother. They've proven that time and time again. Haven't you seen? You know, the world's never been angry at one another, but they're trustworthy, right? So this goes on to say that uh, home security yeah. systems, a collection of tangible electronic parts that cooperate into a safeguard a house. Often a smart home security system will consist of cameras, motion sensors, entry sensors, sirens, and many more. So, of course, what they're saying is put cameras in your home. Actually, don't even worry. Anymore. It's You know what? Putting cameras on the outside of your home don't matter because you have that gate we just talked about, right? You put your security gate up, a.k.a. you put your jail bars up outside. But what we need, because that's not enough protection, is we need cameras in the home. Specifically, like, let's put them in your bedroom where you might make love to your wife or your husband, right? Or where you might just sleep, okay? Don't be creeped out. Nobody wants to watch you sleep except, of course, all the creeps at the NSA. So put it in your bedroom. And you might say, well, that's for safety in case the guy breaks in. And you say, well, what about a gun? What about uh, – oh, sorry. I can't say that word. What about uh, the gate outside? Uh, yeah, but this is just extra. So don't even worry about it being outside the cameras. Have them inside too. In fact, put one in your shower while you're at it. You know, because we've all seen the movie Psycho. Probably the most likely place you're going to get stabbed will be in the shower. So you might as well have one in there. No, nobody's creeping on you. Okay? They don't care about you. Stop being a narcissist. Okay? Number nine, purchasing vacuum cleaners, smart cleaners. Because it's not enough to have a vacuum or a broom. Let's have smart ones in there. Oh, by the way, there was also another YouTuber. Crazy story. <laughs> that guy was crazy. He did a video on this a while ago which I think he said was on his website, about a vacuum, a smart vacuum. So these little discs that drive around on their own, they push it on QVC, home shopping. <laughs> Not that I watch them, although this is a guilty pleasure because it's some of the funniest stuff you'll ever see with Stepford Wives. But anyway, there was a story about a woman who actually was recorded and filmed dropping a deuce by her <laughs> vacuum and also being in her bedroom changing by her vacuum because these things also have cameras and listening devices. And of course that data went to somebody 